It's your third HTML5 tutorial, and we're going to be adding some more elements on our website. First, let's change a couple of things. On this page, what we're going to be doing is that since we have a link on here that links to a different page, we're going to be adding a, pretty much a nav tag. And what this does is that you pretty much want to put anything for your navigation in here. So like we have our link to new page 2 in here. And we're also going to change the name of that to pictures, since we're pretty much going to be putting a picture on our second page. Another thing that we'll change on here is that um, since we basically have a subtitle and we also have like two paragraphs in here, let's go ahead and organize this a little bit better and put this in an article tag. That way when we go through and read the code later, we'll be able to know exactly what this is. Now that we got that, we'll go ahead and save it. So I know we added some things to our page, and when we refresh it, the only thing that's going to change is our link that we changed the name for. But I promise that there's a reason why we're adding all these tags in here. First, when you look through the code, it's going to make it a lot clearer on what exactly is going on. So like we have a navigation up here, and we also have an article in our section tag. Also, when we go to style this page, it's going to make our job three times easier to do that. On our second page, we're going to be adding the same header we had on the first page. Now I know we can just copy and paste it from the first page, but we're actually going to write it out. And I want you to do the same as well, so that way you can learn the tags in HTML. There will come a time when you're working on a really complex web page with about 300 lines of HTML code, and if something doesn't work on that page, knowing how to fix it is going to help you greatly. So let's go ahead and add our header on here. First what we'll do is that we'll go ahead and tap out everything on here just to make it a little bit cleaner and easier to read. And then we'll go ahead and add our header tag on here. Put in our title. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and save it. And then when we go to Chrome and we click on it, we notice that we have the same title at the top, my website, and then we also have our link, which will take us back to the page that we started with, which is newpage.htm. Most websites, though, don't have where you have just one link on here. They usually have a static navigation bar. So, like, for example, we want this to be home and then the next link to be pictures. And we want that to be consistent on each page. So what we'll do to change that is that on our first page we'll go ahead and add the same link that we have on the second page. So we'll just put new page.htm on here. Alright and we'll put a little spacer on here. Usually navigation has this where they have like a spacer in between it. And then when we go to view it you see we have home and then pictures and so this link will take us to the page we're on right now and then this one will take us to the other page. So we'll do the same thing and change it on the second page so that way we have it consistent. Alright so let's see what we have. Okay so basically we have a consistent navigation bar now. Okay, and let's make a couple other changes as well while we're on here. What we're going to do is we're going to add a section on here, just like we had on the first page. And this is where we're actually going to put our picture. Okay, well first thing we want to do is we want to get our picture. So we have our directory, our web development directory on here, and we're going to create a new folder. And this is where we're going to put all our pictures in. So we'll create our new folder called it Images, and then in this folder, is where we're going to have all the pictures that we're going to use for our website. So I do have a picture that we can use. Let me just paste it in here. It's going to be called Sample. Now Windows Explorer does bring up a good thing on here. and That is that it's not showing the extensions. So like for example this is not just Sample. It also has an extension. It would be .png. But Explorer 
is not actually showing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. If you go to folder options on here, you can uncheck this little item right here. It says hide extension for known file types. And then once we put that on there, you see that we have our extensions now added. So in this directory, we have sample.png. If we were to go to the previous directory, we can also see we have our extensions on the two pages that we created. So now they have .htm on them. And this is very important because when you're adding pictures on a website, you're going to need to know what the extension is because when we go to put in the code for it, you're going to need to tell what file name to use. If you don't put the extension at the end, the browser is not going to find it. Okay, so now that we have all that set up on here, we'll go ahead and add our image onto our web page. So we'll use the section tag on here, and inside that section tag is where we're going to add our picture. So the code for it would be this. So basically we point it towards where our image directory is, and put in a file name as well. Okay, so basically what this tag is, is that this adds pictures onto a web page. If, with this, you have the src attribute, and that basically points to where the image is. And so, for example, it's going to start with the directory that the web page is currently in. So right now, the web page is currently in web development folder. And so, from that web development folder, our image is located in the images folder, and then finally we have the file name. This attribute basically is going to show you what the text would be if the picture was not displayed. Like say if the browser can't find it or if the web server is having trouble and can't send the picture to the web browser, then it's going to show picture as the alternative. So that way if for some reason it does not load or someone's using a text only web browser or say they even have images disabled for whatever reason then that's what it's going to show so that way the user is aware that you have a picture on the website and that is basically what it relates to. Also another thing to note is that this is a self-closing tag and so it's always a good idea to learn it in this format by putting the slash at the end so that way you know which tags are self-closing and which tags are not self-closing. One thing I see we missed is our nav tag on here so we'll go ahead and add that in real quick. Okay, so now that we have all that in on there, let's go ahead and refresh our page in Chrome, and you see that we now have a picture on our page. Well, that about wraps up this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be learning about tables, and what they should be used for, and what they also should not be used for.